Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Anne. <clears throat> and today we're making biscuits. And instead of them being called buttermilk biscuits, we call them better milk biscuits because we use a better kind of milk. Jane is so good at titles of things. It's terrific. Says my mother. Um, this is oat milk, but I, you, I suppose you could use almond milk or soy milk in this recipe. And yeah. biscuits, as you know, are sort of a tricky... You can't touch them a lot and stuff. So the way we do this is instead of I starting, always call them muffins because I think of them as... No, muffins are sweet, Mommy. I don't know how you get that. But these are delicious. So instead of using butter to fold the biscuits, we, we make our own sort of walnut paste with um, some walnuts and a little bit of water. And just, just stir these until they become a clump. Okay. You're going to grind this up into a paste. Um, and get it, get this. So it's kind of like a dry, um, a dry uh, sort of, oh, thank you, clump of, of um, I mean, I hate to call it walnut butter, but it'll, it'll become just that. It's just kind of sticking to my walls here. And once it once it's becomes a paste, believe it or not, you take it out of the Cuisinart and use it like you would, you know, when you're making biscuits and you take the, the butter or the whatever lard people might use out and you sort of sprinkle it onto top of the, of the flour and stuff. Okay, so this is turning into a clump here. And... I'm gonna get it out, get it all out in one big harumph. Okay, hopefully you can see this. Can you see this? The video angle? Anyway, it's just a big, it's a big clump of walnut paste, walnut butter, walnut mush with water. All right, oh and my gosh, if you're following along, this is actually in our book, Plant Strong, and it's on page 155. And after you have your walnuts blurred up and ready to go on the side. You add in to the yucky Cuisinart or, the, or whatever mechanism you're using. Um, you add in, I'm using, oh my gosh, I'm using whole wheat flour. I usually use oat flour, but it doesn't rise at all. I wanted it to rise today with you guys. So <laughs> I'm using white whole wheat flour. Can you show that? Do you use white whole wheat flour in lots of things? What's your preference? Sometimes. What? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Um, so the white whole wheat flour and then a, just a little bit of baking soda. What is this? Baking powder. And a little more of baking soda. And these rising agents. No, no, no. You, you want the reverse. You want, you want less of the baking soda. You don't, Jane. Oh. You, you're doing it wrong. All right. I did. I, did, I reversed it. So I'm going to add you a little more. more baking powder. I, yeah. <laughs> baking soda is very, very high in sodium. So you need a tiny bit. Tiny bit. So I'm going to do a little bit of baking soda, more baking powder. Occasionally I make this recipe and it's perfect. And occasionally I make it and there's too much of that baking soda, baking powder flavor. And it probably is because I got them backwards. Um, all right. And after this, you some people add a little bit of salt. We don't add it because we just don't feel like we need it. Um, but at this stage, what's kind of cool is you take this and you just sort of plop it in on top and let it be sort of sprinkled about in various places. All right, go off the side. And here's where you have to be gentle with this. And I just try to pulse it a few times so it incorporates. Just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's no more clump seen. It just looks like, do you see any clumps? No. Is that a clump? It's amazing. They, so they get, it gets some, um, I guess it incorporated. Might not be the right word. I'm not a chefy chefy about things like that. And then we add one cup of better milk. You, and you think we should go with oat milk? Yeah, I definitely do. Oat milk. is. How much? So when my mom is making this, she um, doesn't oh, do. She does this in a plant perfect I do, way. I do my plant perfect, but it's totally the opposite, and it ends up with little tiny, delicious pancakes. 
But let me, this is what I do. <laughs> I, I cut your recipe in half, so I use one cup of flour, two thirds cup of oat milk, and then I will use flaxseed meal, and I will use maybe two, even three tablespoons, two of that, and mix it up. Put a little baking, I mean, if you choose to use the whole wheat flour, I could put in baking powder. I don't use baking soda at all. And then I just flatten them into a pan, and my God. Flatten. That's the worst word to use with I know. biscuits. Oh, but ouch. my biscuits, I said, are my pan, really, they're my pancake you've biscuits. You've got to be, okay, we're <laughs> muffins. Look at it. You have to be very tender with biscuits. And I add a little bit of flaxseed. With her inspiration here, I'm adding a little flaxseed uh, meal. It'll give it a nice few little flex and add a little more, actually. And um, make it look, I don't know, a little more decorative. So what I'm going to add now is the milk, and I'm going to slowly try to pulse it, you know, maybe eight times, maybe a few more, but I hope not to do that much because the, the less we can do to, um, I'm gonna, let's roll it out here. Um, less we can do to this mix, the better. And, oh, 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 come on, come on, say. Oh, one. Two. Three. Hey. Okay, does that look like it's good? I think I did about 10 or 12 swirls. And I think I want to do... Oh, that might just be enough. You know what? Let's call that a day. Call that it. Um, okay, so now we're going to put our basket batter here with a little bit of flour on the table or on the board and get this out of the Cuisinart. It's still a little bit crumbly in places and if yours is in more of a ball or a, you know that's great you did, did probably one more turn or you had a better ratio of moisture to yours. Uh, it's caught on the blade. We've put good on that. I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna gently press this into a, into a noun. I want to call it into a, into a, um, a lump, a clump. Oh, nice job. Is the blade covered too? Oof. Okay. So this. Hopefully you can see this well enough in the contrast from the flour and the dough. Is it, biscuit, is it biscuit dough or is it biscuit batter? Dough, looks like to me. Okay, yeah, and batter is more liquidy. So now we have a parchment lined pan right here, and I have a little, a little ceramic bowl type thing that the kids made <laughs> in, you know, probably third grade ceramics when they first learned to make a a little vessel, and I can't find it. That's what I love to use because it has little sharp edges somehow. So this is a little larger and not as sharp on the edge, but I'm going to use this today and just pop these biscuits onto the... So it's hard to say how many it makes because it, uh, you could make... Make it thinner no, don't, don't, to no, make don't more. Press, no pressing. Oh, sorry. You just gently, gently. Okay. I'll eat that one pressed. <laughs> Your pancake. Oh, I didn't know you called yours pancakes because the b biscuits um, are clearly in my mind sort of a not very sweet, plain, uh, bready item. And you keep calling them muffins. And muffins, in my mind, are right. sort of a sweet, um, I mean, muffins aren't savory. I guess they could be, but muffins generally are like, Blueberry muffins and banana nut muffins, and you could put these together really close, um, and they'll they'll rise together, and they'll have that little sort of touching area. And um, I can hardly wait. It seems so painfully slow to wait. These are just so delicious, and they do. Well, you're gonna eat it raw? What do you mean? No, no, no. When they're cooked, I, I can't. Oh no, these are best eaten warm. Um, you know, I, all, all things plant-based that are baking goods, they're best eaten warm. It looks like you're going to make 10. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is this one? That's 10. Oh, this is 10. So yeah, maybe this makes 12 with a smaller thing. But we're just going to go, we'll call that done. And um, we're going to pop these in the oven. And for exactly, it's at 400, our, our 
oven is being heated preheated to 400 right now, and I want its exact number of minutes. I want to make sure I'm going to get say the right one. I think it's like 12 or 13 minutes. It's, it's an odd number, and oh, 11 minutes, and we go for 11 minutes. Awesome. Okay. Whew. Okay. Set the timer. We'll be right back. We have a quick announcement to make. Actually, three announcements. First one is you're all invited to Well Now Camp. Jane has well that special way of now. saying Well Now. Say it. Say it the way. Everyone has a great way. Well Now. Well Now. Well Now. And it is really fun. And this <clears throat> camp is for plant-based women warriors or people who want to just try for the, you know, those four days to be a plant-based woman warrior. But the camp is June fourth to seventh. And we have an early bird discount that lasts until December 31st. So please sign up today at janesselston.com or at uh, campwell.com. And the next announcement, or go ahead. There was such a great variety of amazing people at that camp. That was the such most fun part. Wonderful. And, oh my gosh, we did such fun things. I couldn't believe some of the things we did that I couldn't believe what fun it was. Oh, activities that way. And, and we will do, a, we have a big demo we're gonna do. Um, hands-on fun demo and another announcement is um, in March on March 7th is the prevent and reverse heart disease and cancer for women conference here in Cleveland Ohio at the Cleveland Clinic Wellness Institute dr. Christy Funk will be there uh, she's from coming from California and she's a breast cancer surgeon and researcher so exciting and Colin Campbell will be there well, and 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 Campbell. my husband oh you forgot. I never forget Daddy. He's and, the keynote speaker, but he's always and there. And to have both Colin and, and my and husband on the same program is so exciting because they are such... Um, they're the originals. Originals. They're the originals. originals. Yeah. And, and the last announcement I want to make is that I'm sure you've noticed this lovely shirt I'm wearing. It is a limited edition t-shirt and it says, this is a lemon, and it says, Acid Queen. It is in honor of my mom and the influence she's had on all of us and all of our food with but, her acidic tendencies. But, well, it hasn't caught on to all of you exactly, but what it did is it caught on enough that our granddaughter, Kryle, designed she's a, it. She's yeah, a great designed artist. Designed the t-shirt. And uh, we also have some other limited edition things on, on the website, which... Um, oh my gosh! This is the cutest thing I've ever seen that you've got. Little, I love it. Yeah. I wish it fit. <laughs> A um, onesie. Actually, onesies are coming back into uh, style. This is November 2019. Too small. In case this. It's, um, this is for a 12-month-old. And we also have um, a limited edition of our Enjoy Kale t-shirts. So please go to janesselston.com uh, to find some t-shirts today. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Who's leaning more? Yay. Who? Who? Oh. They're done. <laughs> They're done. <laughs> They're done. The biscuits are done. Better oh. luck biscuits. Now, don't get overexcited. They don't rise and fluff like the things full of other stuff. Um, but these are delicious and edible. And oh, they're Ooh. they're kind of enormous. They're bigger than I <laughs> than usual, but they are so yummy. Okay, um, which is the one I ruined by pushing down? It doesn't matter. Um, but I can't wait to taste it. And I've got two different jams. Would you like jam on yours? No, I like it plain. Oh, of course. Um, I've got Simply Fruit, mm. which is just fruit, uh, strawberry or raspberry, which I think, I think it was strawberry. The raspberry's been kind of popular, but I'm gonna try strawberry. Um, is There's it good? There's just nothing like, not like delicious biscuits. Hot, They're just just nothing. With something, on oh, something, wow. in something. Mmm, these are so fluffy. I can't wait to share it with you guys, with, the, with Wade and Jay, um, Josh, the camera guys, but I'll share it with, with you guys. What do you put on your biscuits? Or you're like Ann and you have it plain. Oh, you can make pancake biscuits. No, no. And it's surprising. Fluffy, yummy ones. <laughs> All right, thank you. Onward with, what is it, better milk biscuits. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.